in Chicago in, uh, in uh, 80, 88. Margaret Katsumata and age is 83. This is Suiharu Ichikawa and my age is 79. Seiji Koshimizu. <laughs> how, how old is Grandpa? Eto! 78. Okay. 78? Yeah. 78. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Assembly Center, and that was Tulare, California. And then after that, we stayed there for about three months, and then I think we went to uh, Arizona, Gila, Gila, Arizona. And uh, how long were you in there? Oh, I think about uh, almost three years. Amachi, Colorado. And how long were you there? About three years, three or four years. I think Amachi, Colorado, I mean, Santa Anita. Yeah. Started with Santa Anita racetracks. We were in the racetracks. Okay. In the barracks were in the parking lot. Oh, okay. And uh, we were there for like six months. And then the, the, they brought the train in and they shipped us to Colorado, uh, Alachi, Colorado, which was Granada, Granada, or Colorado. I was around seven or eight years old. About twelve. How old were you when you got out of camp? Let's see. Oh, about 15 and a half. Uh, seven. So seven to ten. Uh, Sixteen years old. And uh, how old were you when you got out of camp? Oh, well, I yeah, got into service. When we first got there, they had guards on the tower. On each tower they had guards with a rifle. The army, uh, army. And, uh, I had memories of uh, working on a ranch. When I was eight years old, I worked on a ranch in Colorado. Okay. It's just that we couldn't get out. You know, we're in just confined in this uh, Arizona hot place. It was real hot. You know, in the camps, how was the food? Oh, uh, not too good. <laughs> uh, we just we just enjoyed going with our friends. We didn't eat with our parents. Oh, okay. Yeah, we went with our friends to eat. So I don't know. We just ate what we. <laughs> Just to survive, I guess. <laughs> well, it wasn't too good, but it was it was palatable because when you're hungry, you eat anything. <laughs> but we used to go out on the prairie and uh, catch rattlesnakes and cook those. Kids, so we had a lot of friends, you know. They're all all around us was Japanese kids. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't too good for the parents, you know. Yeah. It's not too young. In fact, I enjoyed camp because being with a lot of people my age, it 
was a lot of fun. Well, all I can remember was the uh, snow. Because we weren't used to snow. We, we went back to Long Beach because we couldn't get a place in Los Angeles. And uh, we were situated in uh, uh, Long Beach. And so we, we lived there in a trailer park. And it was, that was a bad, bad living, you know, living in a trailer. And uh, then we moved from there to uh, Torrance, California. And uh, we lived in that uh, Torrance house for over 50 years. Uh, we took a train to Los Angeles Union Station and we got there early in the morning. It was cold. We didn't know what to do, so we slept overnight on those hard wooden benches. In the morning, we got in a taxi cab and went to the projects, and they told us we couldn't get an apartment, even if my our brother was in the Second World War. They still wouldn't give us an apartment, and they sent us to the trailer park. And the family was so big they had to give us two trailers and each trailer was smaller than a bedroom and we stayed there for about three years. Did it uh, kind of uh, put a stop to my life? I think I could have had a better education because when I came out of the camp a lot of teachers were very prejudiced. And when I requested certain subjects like piano lessons or geometry or algebra, they, instead of encouraging me, they rejected me. Like piano lessons, they required me to own a piano. We couldn't afford a piano. And when I requested to use the pianos, at the school, after school, to take piano lessons. She rejected that. And the funny thing was, uh, shortly after we got out of camp, I was in uh, <clears throat> grade school. And it was a teacher that discriminated. Uh, and uh, the school I went to was primarily uh, Hispanic, and uh, black, and so uh, she, uh, it was a white teacher, and I remember uh, uh, she, she even called me a Jap. That's a memory I never forgot.